All right, let's just move our equation down here. Now there are different approaches we could take. I'm going to begin by simplifying the left-hand side. To do this, we'll multiply these two fractions together. Now when we multiply the numerators, we should recognize that both terms here have the exact same exponent. As such, we can apply the following rule to rewrite this product as 6 to the power of negative n. Next, 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And this, we are told, is equal to 1 over 36. Next, let's take the 6 here and rewrite it as 6 to the power of 1. And on the right-hand side, we can rewrite 1 over 36 as a power of 6. We can rewrite this as 6 to the power of negative 2. From here, we can combine these two terms by applying the quotient law for exponents to get 6 to the power of negative n minus 1. And this, of course, is equal to 6 to the power of negative 2. At this point, since we have the same base on both sides of our equation, we can apply the following law that says the exponents must be equal. At this point, we can solve for n by first adding 1 to both sides of the equation and then multiplying both sides by negative 1 to get n is equal to 1. So we'll go up here and enter our answer.